And the question I'm going to handle now is the, se the seven digits in this subtraction problem are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Each letter represents the same digit whenever it occurs. What digits is represented by each letter? So the problem is BADCB minus EBEG is BFEG. So what it implies is wherever you have got D, it will have the same number if from any one of this 0 to 6. Similarly, wherever you have E, it will have the same number. D and D will not have the same number. A and D will not have the same number. B and F will not have the same number. So I will use all the six numbers for substitution. Now, these are all puzzle type of a question or I can call it as a logical reasoning type of a question. So what happens is, this is a five digit number minus a four digit number, I am getting a four digit number. Five digit number minus a four digit number, I am getting a four digit number. So the easier way of understanding this is, this D is getting eliminated. And uh, so the D value can be easily found out. Now, uh, supposing I want to write, I ask you to write any three digit number, you will write it as 100 to 999, write any number between 100 to 999. These are all three digit numbers. I will never write a three digit number as not not one. I will never write a three digit number as not not one. So no number will begin with zero. No number will begin with zero. So D is not zero. This is a beginning number, starting number. It can't be zero. Similarly, E is not zero. B is not zero. D can't be zero. E can't be zero. B can't be zero because these are all starting numbers. Now, because this D is vanishing, because the D is vanishing, whatever it has, it, ha it has length. Whatever it has, it has length. The maximum lending can only be one. The maximum lending can only be one. Supposing, for example, I just take example of 122 minus 32. So what will happen is, this 2 and 2 will be 0. So this has to borrow from it, this will become 9. So 1 has gone here, this will become 0. Even if it is going to be 222 minus 32, what will happen is, I can lend only 1. So this will be 0, 9, and it will become 190. Because the maximum lending is only 1, I cannot give the entire 2 there. So only 1 can be lent. So and here, D can only be 1. The maximum lending is only 1. It is not here means this can only be 1. So wherever I have got D, it will be only 1. So I will write it again. D A D C B minus E B E G is B F E G. So wherever I have got D, it will be 1. Wherever I have got D, it will be 1. Now I will come to B. See, this B being a starting number cannot be 0. This B being a starting number cannot be 0. Already 1 is given. Already 1 is given. So, B can take only values 2 or above. It can take only values from 2 to 6. 0 is not possible. 1 is not possible. So, it can take values only from 2 to 6. Now, coming to this third spot. Coming to this third spot, I am 100% sure D is only 1. And B is going to be definitely 2 or above. I am going to 100% sure D is only 1. This B is going to be only 2 or above. Now when you minus this, D minus B, 1 minus 2 is not possible. 1 minus 2 is not possible. Therefore, this D will have to borrow from A. Because this 1 minus 2 is not possible, D will have to borrow from A. Now even presuming A is 0, even presuming A is 0, See, I am not assigning values of 2 to A. I am only presuming A is 0 because 0 is the lowest number possible. 0 is the lowest number possible. So because I am presuming A as 0, this DA will become 10. This DA will become 10. From this 10, I will have to lend 1. From this 10, because this D has to borrow to satisfy B. From this 10, I will have to lend 1. So I can maximum lend only 1. So the balance will only be 9. Now, this DA, 10 minus 1 will become 9. 9 minus E will be equal to B. 9 minus E will be equal to B. Or I can write the equation as, I will to revert the equation. B plus E will be greater than or equal to 9. Because I have presumed it to be 0. So, 10 minus 1 will be, 10 minus E will be equal to B. Or the reverse order, B plus E will be equal to 9. So, what happens is, B plus E will be equal to 9. Because I have presumed this to be 0, it is 9. It can take higher values 2, 3, 4, 5, anything is possible. So that's why I am writing it as B plus E is greater than or equal to 9. Now one more equation is possible. Now what happens is, because this D is vanishing, because D is vanishing, 
A is definitely borrowing from D. A is definitely borrowing from D. Now what happens is, why should A borrow from D? The only reason A for, should borrow from D is A is less than E. A is less than E. So this is another equation. A is less than E. These are the only two which I make logically. Then I go by elimination of possible alternative. I very strongly believe in elimination of possible alternatives. I always start from the right hand side. The number that I can use are 0, 1 is already given, I cannot give it again, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the only numbers that I can use, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. From this 6 numbers, I will have to find what is B minus G is G. B minus G is G. See, B should definitely be an even number because B minus G is G. So, the possibilities are 4, 2, 1, 2 because 4 minus 2 will be 2. Similarly, other possibility is 6 minus 3 is 3. I cannot have 2 minus 1 as 1 because 1 is already given, which is not available to me. Then the other possibility is 2 minus 6 can be 6. Because this is a minus problem, this C can lend to B. 2 will become 12 minus 6 will be 6. One more possibility is 0 minus 5 will be 5. So if the question is right, I can have all these 4 options, I can have 4 answers. But then I start with the elimination process, I will see whether it, which one is possible. Now, I already told you that B cannot be 0. So, this is ruled out. B cannot be 0. Now, supposing I take B as 2. Supposing I take B as 2. Now, I got an equation B plus E is greater than or equal to 9. If B is 2, E should be at least 7. If B is 2, E it should be at least 7. And I don't have a number 7 and above. Therefore, B cannot be 2. B cannot be 2. Now we will go to this, supposing B is 4, supposing B is 4, as per this equation, if B is 4, E will be equal to 5 or 6, E will be equal to 5 or 6, because it is greater than, so this are the only two values I can get, if B is 4, if B is 4, E will be either 5 or 6, now supposing B is 4, E is 5, A will become 0, supposing B is 4, E is 5, A will become 0. Because I will lend 1, so a, b is 4, e is 5, a will become 0. Now, if e is 5, because c need not lend 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, c need not lend. So, what will happen is 5 plus 5, c also will become 0. 5 plus 5, c also will become 0. I cannot have both a and c as 0. I cannot have both a and c as 0. Therefore, in b is 4, e 5 is 0. Now, because 6 is also possible, I will check for that. If b is 4, e is 6, a will become 1. Already 1 has been given. I cannot give 1 again. So 6 is also nailed out. So B cannot be 4. Now the question is right. This has definitely come. Wherever I have B, I will make it as 6. Wherever I have got G, I will make it as 3. Now wherever I have got B, it will be 6. Wherever I have got G, it will be 3. Now as per this equation, because B is 6, E has to be at least 3. But 3 is already given. I cannot give it again. Then I check for 4. If I put E as 4, 4 plus 4, C will become 8. I don't have 8 here, so 4 is ruled out, 6 is also given, the only number possible is E will be 5, so this will be 0, and this will become 10, because I lend 1, so 0 will remain, 10 minus 6 will be 4, and if this is 5, this will be 2. So the answer is 1, 2, 1, 0, 6, minus 5, 6, 5, 3, will be 6, 4, 5, 3. So for problems like this, try to find out any logical equations if you are able to make. If you are able to make logical equations like this, then you can get this answer very fast. So think logically, your answers are very fast, you can do it fast.